we are about to spend the next two days on a train in Thailand. Right now we are at the train station in the very north, the most northerly train station in Thailand, Chiang Mai, and we've got two days and two trains to get to the most southerly train station in Yala province. There's a lot of interesting and unique elements to this train journey, and so I'll get into that when I get on the train, but right now I've just arrived, it's 37 degrees, it's boiling hot, I'm full of nerves and full of anxiety and full of excitement because we're about to go on the biggest trip of our life, so <sighs> let's just get into the train station, let's see what's going on and I'll explain more. Wish me luck. <laughs> I'm gonna need it. My name is Paddy Doyle and this is my little Honda dream and welcome to Next Level Adventures. Right now we are attempting to visit every single province in Thailand. We've had some incredible adventures already, but the best part is we're only just getting started. So subscribe and join us as we discover this incredible country together. Okay, so this is the platform, platform number three. There's a train leaving at five and a train leaving at six. I'm getting on the earlier train. It's not the new, better train that you get from China. This is the older, more rustic version. The reason why I have to take this train is because they're the only trains that transport motorcycles. If you don't know, I'm about to motorcycle for about a year around Thailand to every single province. And obviously I wanna start from the bottom, the most southern province, and start my way from the bottom and work my way around. That's why I have to use the train because I can't drive all the way down there. It would take me forever. So this older style train is going to transport my motorbike. What I had to do was come to the train station this morning at eight o'clock. It's first come, first serve, and they only allow five motorbikes on the train on any service. Luckily, when I arrived at five past eight this morning, I was the third motorbike in the queue, and they told me to take off the boxes. The, I have these like side boxes on the side. They told me to take those off. They said they're too big. So luckily, they just let me keep them at the train station, and I just picked them up and uh, they seem as heavy as I left them, so I'm sure everything's still in there. And then uh, I'm gonna walk down the train, find my seat, see what it's like. It is a sleeper seat, so I think there will be a bed or it will turn into a bed. All I have is one simple small backpack, these two side boxes, and hopefully, fingers crossed, my motorbike is on this train. In fact, once I find my seat, I'll see if I can go find my little bike, because I really wanna make sure she's on the train. Uh, so yeah, let's go on to the uh, actual real platform on the other side here and try and find our seat. Oh my god, I'm sweating already. Is this the correct seat? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, so that was the wrong. <laughs> the wrong one. Okay, let me go get my stuff. Okay, <laughs> sweaty. So we found the seat. I asked a, a Thai family and they, because uh, there's like two sets of numbers, red numbers and then black numbers and I was at the wrong one. So you want to go sit at the red number. So the good thing about social distancing is nobody's allowed to sit opposite me. So let me show you the seat. Basically, there's a nice wide seat, okay? Now this will fold down later, someone will turn this into a bed. Up here is a bunk bed, an upper level, so maybe I'll, someone will be joining me, maybe someone will be sleeping above me later. There's some cup holders, there are curtains, so you can block out the light and have some privacy if you want to get changed. Although the people over here could definitely see, but that's a, a minor issue. <laughs> Lots of leg space, and there's my stuff. Now, I don't see any electrical charging thingies because this is the old train. Let me quickly show you the new train across there. So this is the old train. This is the, uh, you know, these have been going for 20, 30 years. But what happened is China gifted or sold, I don't know, but basically these are the Chinese trains. So if you have the option, get on this train. 
Let me show you the difference quickly. I'll sneak on. Yeah, this is the, um, the Chinese train. It's going to Bangkok one hour later, but because it's brand new, I can't put my motorbike on it. But look at the difference. You've got a fold-out table. You've got different material for the seat. It's a bit nicer, and then this is the big thing. Light and power. <sighs> the aircon's really nice in here as well. It just feels posh compared to and also look you've got TVs with the map so you can see where you are in live time just like you're on a plane and the ticket price is exactly the same the only difference is the new trains the better trains with the better facilities don't allow you to transport motorcycles on so I'm stuck on the uh, on the local version the old version without the cool electric doors <laughs> oh. this is the engine it's really old and really loud and it's beautiful <laughs> After I saw the front of the train, I saw the restaurant cart and I was like, brilliant, I'll be able to have dinner here, I'll get some drinks, maybe I can get some beers. And then I got here and look, it's just completely empty and all they're doing is using it for putting in boxes and sacks of potatoes. <laughs> oh, I just absolutely stacked it as well, <laughs> getting onto the train. There's a gap. Please mind the gap. I did not mind the gap and I just felt my knee is hurting and my elbow is a bit busted up so I'm already getting battered by this train luckily it wasn't moving <laughs> it's about to leave it's quarter to five the train leaves at five and one of the first things I checked as I walked up to the front of the train and I looked into the luggage compartment and it's all open you can see it clearly and I saw few a few motorbikes and I panicked, I couldn't see mine but when I walked to the other end I could yeah, I could see my little Honda with the tire flag so I know my motorbike is safely there. We've got 11 hours overnight to Bangkok, a short three hour window to change trains, get on the Southern Line, and then it's a 19 hour monster train from Bangkok all the way down to the Malaysian border province of Yala. <laughs> I just hope I get a good night's sleep because I didn't sleep last night because I was so anxious about, you know, going on this big journey and going on this big adventure and leaving my job and selling all my things and saying goodbye to my friends and family. Not family, but, you know, the people I live with I consider to be my family. I love them so much. I've had such a good year with them and I've had to say goodbye today and it's very sad, but also very exciting. I'm, a, I'm just a cluster f of emotion. Happiness, excitement, dread, worry, anxiety, all mixed into one. Uh, class the f YouTuber, huh? Hey, 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 Okay, we're leaving. Four minutes late. It's okay. <laughs> and uh, yeah, look, here comes the sign Chiang Mai. Oh, gonna miss this province, gonna miss my home. I've lived here for four years. Happily. Extremely happily, actually. Yeah, I've loved every minute of living in Chiang Mai. It really is a beautiful, incredible place to live when it's not smoky season, which it is right now. And that's one of the reasons why we're going so far south so quickly. I could obviously start from Chiang Mai and just drive around every province from here, but with the smoke and uh, with having lived here for so long, I want to go see somewhere new, I want to take you somewhere cool and I want to get away from the bloody smoke as well. So we're moving, the bike's on the train, my bag's over there, everything's kind of in the right place, there's aircon, it's, it's okay, this is a good start, there's nobody to talk to and uh, I'll just do this. I'll just stare out the window and look at all of the typical Thai wonderment and uh, usual cool things. You know, when you're on a train like this, you do see the country go by and we are about to see the entire country go by because obviously we're going from the top to the bottom. So we'll see mountains and we'll see jungles, we'll see cities, we'll see beaches, we'll see sunsets, we'll see sunrises. My life in the next two days on this train. With nobody here, just me and you. <laughs> I 
and uh, we've only been on the train for two hours. But we have got some activity. There are three women selling fried rice, sausages, chicken. Smells okay, but I'm not really in the mood for fried foods. I kind of want to have like fresh fruit or something. And me and this old fellow, we're just trying to keep comfortable, but they haven't come to make our beds yet, so it's not really the most. Hello, mango. Mango? Yes. Oh, yeah, I can have some mango. Oh. Thank you. 20 baht. 20 baht? Yeah. Okay, I'll wait. She went across the street, ran off the train, and got me this mango. It looks a bit dry. Mmm. Actually, it's good. So this is interesting. Uh, it's about half past seven. The sun's gone down. And the train conductor, or inspector, or whatever, He's making everyone's beds. He's not making every single seat into a bed because the train's not full. But he's uh, very efficient. <laughs> and the linen is immaculate. It's freshly washed, looks extremely clean, and even pressed. So what I'll do is I'll just let him finish making my bed and just before I go to sleep <laughs> um, I'll show you the toilet area as well because um, that's a little bit rustic. So there's actually plugs here so you could put your laptop on here and stand up and do some work if you need, if you really need to or charge your phone uh, but you would have to leave it there and then this is like the kitchen sink <laughs> wash basins so I don't know what these are for but there's a bin, and then I think this is the area where the ticket inspector sleeps. He's got plugs, and there's a camera up there, so they're recording us, so there's security. And then the toilet on the left, and the toilet on the right. Okay, check this out. toilet here that was the one with the Asian squatter style and this one has a Western style toilet made of metal no toilet roll but they do have the bum gun the trusty bum gun and this one even has a shower so maybe in the morning if you want to refresh you can have a shower with disgusting train water <laughs> see me <laughs> it's very dark so he's just making the last bed on this carriage honestly the the linen is extremely clean and extremely soft so I should get a good night's sleep it smells really good nice and clean very soft so if I do get a little bit cold obviously the air cons on but it's not freezing but in the night if I do get a little bit chilly I can just throw that over and be all snug and there's no light in here and no plug sockets which I've said about a hundred times but um, I'm kind of tired and this gentle rocking of the train is actually extremely relaxing and I'll just watch the world go by put on a podcast and hope my phone doesn't run out of battery <laughs> Basically what happened is, I arrived just an hour late, no problem. My sleep, by the way, would have been amazing, 
The bed was warm, the bed was comfortable, soft. But when I got into the bed, just before I was about to settle down, I tweaked my lower back muscle. Like, just something spasmed and I knew that was going to be a nightmare. And so I had a lot of lower back pain all night. Two nights in a row, not a good night's sleep. It's definitely a big fat coffee kind of day. Then I get to the station, I meet up with my bike, she's arrived, and I uh, put my side boxes back on and I push the bike to pay to get her on the train to Yala, which leaves at 12 o'clock in about three hours. He tells me... Him is like here. If mo motorcycle cannot... He says, what train do you want to go on? And I said, oh, I want to go to Yala. He said, oh, okay, cool. Um, what day do you want to go? I said, oh, today. He just starts laughing and he points to all the other bikes that are waiting to go on the same train and he's like, you can't get your bike on the train to Yala until Wednesday in two days time. To which I said, well, I can't wait two days in Bangkok. I mean, I could just wait two days in Bangkok, but I don't want to. I'd want to get down there and start the adventure. So then I just sort of take a minute and think about what I should do. And then I'm like, well, is there another train to a different part of the south that, uh, that I could get it on today? And he says, yes, there is. And this is typical of Thailand. All you have to do, if there's a problem, just ask if there's an alternative solution. They won't just tell you. They'll wait for you to ask. And so I said, oh, okay, well, where's a train that is going south? And he said, there's a train going to Kang Dang. Let me just make sure I'm saying that right. Kang Dang or Kadang, one second. Kang Tang in the district of or, or the province of Trang. So I looked at the map, I was like, okay, how far south is that? And the good news is it's not as far south as you can go, but it's pretty close. So what we might do is we might do a southern loop for the first few weeks. I mean, I have to do these provinces anyway, but the train doesn't leave until half past six in the afternoon. So I have a full day now in Bangkok, a full nine hours. I am about to go meet some people some YouTubers actually, a um, guy called Dana and Mike, they run a YouTube channel called Bangkok Strange. It's kind of like a, like a live stream and they have a few other channels that they do solo but um, I reached out to them because I really enjoy listening to their podcasts and I thought because I knew they live near here I'd be like you know oh, let's go for a coffee in the three hour window that I have before I get on my train but now there's like a nine hour window so I'm still gonna go meet them for coffee I'll show you them we'll, I'll introduce you to them because they're really cool guys and then uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do for the rest of the day but it just it's adding on nine extra hours to this journey to the south and it's not getting to us it's not getting us where we want to go but it's getting us near there sometimes you just gotta make sacrifices or or what's the other one uh, where you meet in the middle Compromise. <laughs> I wanted to go to Yala, but I couldn't. Thailand doesn't allow you to like pre-organize stuff. You have to buy it on the day and just hope it works out. And it didn't work out, but it kind of did work out. I've got a big coffee. I don't really drink this much caffeine in the morning. I haven't had sleep for two days. That's why I'm talking really fast. Mike and Dana are here. Look what they gave me. Proper helmet. <laughs> I only got them some t-shirts. I'll just wait for this. Oh, I'm, I'm in my underpants. My <laughs> sack of potatoes. Look at me with my sack of potatoes. I'm wearing so much panties. Racist. <laughs> Take two. In three, two. We are here with Mike's and Dana from hey. Bangkok Strange and a bunch of other channels. How many channels Live do you guys have? Live uh, Idea Studio. Oh my yeah. god. BKK.FM. Dapper Billy. I am, my ego is fragile. This is yeah. going to be a tough thing to do. I don't know if I can do this. Can we, can we hang out later, maybe? Take three. In four, three, two. <laughs> no, Here's really the thing, right? Really so Patty, not like Mike and I, we have we have the face for video for radio. That's right. Patty has the money maker. I'm we, wearing we a helmet right that. now. Look at this double chin. <laughs> no, I reached out to these guys because they're really lovely and adorable, and they 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 are very supportive of other creators <laughs> in Thailand. And they've, they've wished me nothing but good luck on my journey really and did, yeah. I really do want to make friends as I go, even if they are, you know, nightmares like these guys. <laughs> Thank you for the medication, by the way. That's going to mellow me up. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll pay for that in Bitcoin, untraceable. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, guys, especially for the helmet. No, uh, dude, um, be safe. Yes. Ha make awesome videos for a year. 
and hopefully you don't need it, but if you do, it's there, right? So exactly. it's one less thing to worry about, and I'm just excited to see 77 provinces of Patty Doyle. Plus now that you're traveling with your sack of potatoes, you're gonna need this helmet on. All right, it is now approaching 6 p.m. It's been a long day of killing time. But we're back at the train station and my train, the 167 to Kang Tang, uh, platform 10, and it's on time. So I am gonna try and get some food for the train. The food selection in this train station is a joke. <laughs> There's a Dunkin' Donuts, a shop that sells crisps, and a, a coffee shop. So what I've gone for is a, a sausage, a hot dog wrapped in waffle batter and a bottle of water. Oh, it's the national anthem. It's disgusting. It's like a waffle on the outside and the disgusting hot dog in the middle. My helmet and my side boxes are in here, but the room's locked and the guy's gone. And this is my train, number 167 to Kantang, platform 10. Car 12, seat 27, upper. This is me. Purple today. Mattress, nice and thick. Duvet, nice and clean. Aircon, nice and cold. Oh, got my stuff up here. One bag in this cage. My side box is down here. It's a bit tighter than the last train. It feels a bit older. Bit more rustic, <laughs> but uh, no rats or cockroaches, which is good. Oh, sorry, cab. Hello, mate. Hello, I pick up. Oh, okay, good food. Hello, I pick up, man. Uh, pack up out. Come out. Chai, non cap. How much is that? Has it bad? Has it bad? That's a rip off, but I'm starving. Calm <laughs> down. I have, I have some water. water. I have, I have, I have. Coca-Cola. I'm good. I'm good. Thank yeah. you. Beer? Beer, my, 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 I'm okay. <laughs> Alright, this train's got a bit more character. Okay, welcome to my uh, makeshift on the train cooking show. Or food show. Mmm, <laughs> pad kabao. Mmm. It's spicy. It's warm. And if you're a backpacker, you'll know that that is sometimes enough. I think the windows are actually tinted. In fact, I'm sure they are because, yeah, they kind of keeps the bright sunshine and the heat from overheating the carriage. So at night, it's extra dark and a bit dingy. Can you see the dinginess? <laughs> this is a bit more snug on the top bunk. A bit more claustrophobic. But, um, I'm quite tired, so I should fall asleep, hopefully. And then, uh, when I wake up, hopefully around about 6 or 7 in the morning, it'll only be about another 5 hours. The whole train journey is 11 hours. So we left at 6.30 and we should arrive at 12. <sighs> and then we'll finally be... Not where we want to be, or where we wanted to be, sorry, but somewhere deep south, and that's important. 
Good night. Actually, I just woke up. Not a bad night's sleep. There was a few moments where the kids sleeping underneath me were screaming. But I think that's to be expected on a journey like this. And then some good news and some bad news. Good news is we're in a town called Nassan. Wherever that is. Um, and people are getting off the train. It is so hot and humid in this province, wherever we are. We're in the deep south now. We're no longer in the north. <laughs> but the worrying thing is the back of the train's gone. And I don't know if that's the part where my bike was on. Fried chicken ladies here. It doesn't smell too bad. Yeah. What do you need? Yeah. Uh, can I have Song Chai and Nung Kao? Oh, just nung, nung, nung. Yeah, nung, nung. Oh, that's really good. The seasoning on the skin. There's like cumin seeds, salt and pepper on there. A little bit of chili on this outside as well. Absolutely delicious. so sweet <laughs> oh my god mm. oh just tastes like condensed milk watch the world go by eat fried chicken sticky rice on a train <laughs> somewhere in Thailand mm. what is that oh nothing like that. some sort of like dessert look weird Mate. Yeah? <laughs> He's brushing his teeth. We're here! 45 hours later, we're here. Oof. Okay, welcome to Ken Tang, Can Tang, sorry. Can Tang in Trang province. Not Yala, but we got here. We left at 5 o'clock on Sunday afternoon. It's now Tuesday afternoon, 45 hours later. But now the real adventure actually starts. <laughs> oh, and speaking of which, let's see if my bike's here. I don't see it. Where? 
สุราธานีอยู่สุราธานีอ่าอัดไทฟอร์ดโอ้ตายเลยทำไมเป็นบางไงอ่ะแปลกเลย Why Why would my bike go Suratani if I'm going to Kentang? เออเราไม่ติดเลยสุราเนี่ยตรงนี้เหรอเนี่ยไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม่รู้ไม
<laughs> Spicy chicken pad cow pow. Freshly cooked, nice and hot. And this is gonna go to Kang Tang. Yeah. Sure? Yeah, but that's sure. Jing Jing. Okay, bye bye bye. Bye bye. See you in Kang Tang. Yeah. <laughs> Just absolutely made the biggest faff ever. Oh, look at this view. You see those beautiful limestone cliffs? Now that we're in the south, you get loads of good views like that. Anyway, so obviously I've become uh, quite accustomed to these trains. And I'm finding out lots of little hacks, including underneath every single seating area, is a fold, foldable table. Well, so I'm uh, like, brilliant. Maybe, uh, for, uh, okay, no problem. Now warm. Okay, thank you. So I was like, oh, brilliant. I can put my MacBook on the table, have a coffee, and you know, respond to your comments and do some channel work because I've got five more hours on this bloody train. So I get the table and I put it into the little holes in the wall and I, I think it's sturdy and I shake the table and I'm like, oh yeah, it's fine. <laughs> MacBook on there, coffee on there, and the table just collapsed and smashed really loudly on the floor and I screamed. My coffee went everywhere, including on the roof and all over my MacBook. And my MacBook hit the ground really hard, so it's covered in coffee and I'm scared to open it in case it's cracked or broken. Are you ready? Okay. Screen seems to be working. Jesus, that's lucky. Tang. Remember this place? <laughs> okay, let's walk up and see if she's there. My lens is really, really misty because of the aircon. 68 hours, three days later, we have finally arrived with the cargo as intended. Not in the location we wanted. Remember, we wanted to go to Yala, but we're here. We're in Trang, Kandang, Trang province. Let the adventure begin. <laughs> the real adventure. Let the real adventure begin. Dreamy, what do we do now? <laughs> Where do you want to go? Stay tuned for more adventures.